good afternoon hi good afternoon and welcome to optimus live studio it's a pleasure to have a father and daughter combo with us we look forward to a couple of minutes interaction with you i don't know how you pronounce this you love i might be mispronouncing it more than a decade ago you started the pilate studio pilates pilates pilates, pilates studio what was the inspiration behind setting this up anyone can answer please so i think the inspiration honestly was just the journey that my father and i had uh, dad was into fitness and loved his fitness i loved playing sports and i think pilates was just magical for us because we both were dealing with injuries and for the first time in a long time we were absolutely pain free and we just thought that if it can help us so much there are so many more people out there who can benefit from this incredible sure. form of exercise sure. the, i mean it was so funny that you know i was all of 50 and she was all of 15 so here we go it's been a good journey yes it has thank you so much and when you talk about injuries what type of injuries are these the ones uh, that we have the, the ones that we have right or we had i had a lot of back issues my whole spinal cord from starting with my cervical i had a cervical spondylosis issue went down to my back so the whole spine was in a bit of an issue i couldn't really move well i couldn't bend every morning i got up i was in pain and uh, my daughter maybe she could say a little bit about her injuries i had a bad fall and injured my knee so i tore my acl destroyed my meniscus basically hurt my knee really bad and had to have a surgery so that was the injury i was trying to recover from and pilates just was magical because i was pain free which i thought would never happen and who are your normal cust- can i call customers or people who come to you all uh, well actually you know i really like to call them or we really like to call them the family members of the pilates studio and uh, uh, it, it's the normal public the general public of course the general population who just want to be fit yes they are primarily our, uh, our family members but we also have a lot of fa- uh, family members from the bollywood industry we have had a lot of olympians training with us we have a lot of cricketers coming tennis players badminton players athletes etc uh, maybe she can add a few I think any fitness enthusiast and somebody who really wants to understand the mind and body functioning of the body is our client. <laughs> Thank you. What more do you think we can do to create a revolution in fitness amongst the younger generation? Well actually my daughter being so young maybe she can also say a few words you know. I think it's basic understanding. I think it's about educating people about health and fitness and also, you know, there are so many fads, there are so many crash diets, there are so many rigorous methods, you know, which land up with people getting injured and things like that. I think it's education. I think education about fitness and health and wellness, you know. In my school, yoga was incorporated as part of uh, you know, curriculum in a way. So we learned how to do yoga how to perform yoga which i think is an important thing because understanding the control of the mind and body is a whole different level so i think yeah basically just education and teaching people about their bodies and i think people need to accept their bodies for what it is and love it for what it is because i can't have your body you can't have mine dad can't have somebody else's we all need to learn to accept that we are this is the body we've been given and we need to make it the best of it work towards being the best version of ourselves rather than trying to compare ourselves to somebody else so i think it's just one step at a time we open we started with one studio now we have 24 studios across the country and it's just about trying to reach more and more people like coming here at the rotary event you know trying to tell people what we do just spreading the word spreading whatever we have to share and hoping that people understand or maybe you know absorb some more and become a part of our journey as well I mean if I may just add a little bit uh, I personally think that we should really youngsters should read do a little bit of research before they go and do a certain exercise program because the herd mentality that we have you know when you see suddenly okay oh this person is doing so and so I also will go and do it you know it really is not the right way to go I mean you should know what you're getting into whether it's worth getting into it or not 
what are the pitfalls so that's what i really think we should do you know to educate people thank you that was wonderfully explained you mentioned about fads a lot of supplements are enticingly available in the market are these really good substitutes for natural nutritious food i honestly think natural is of course the best but at the same time you know there are some times that we don't get all the nutrition that we need or require in a day maybe because of lifestyle maybe because of the quality of food that we get maybe simply because of deficiency you know whether it's a vitamin d you know, even though i spend so much time in the sun there are times that i am deficient on vitamin d so it depends i wouldn't say it's good or bad i would say it depends person to person and need to need basis because overdoing something is not the best way as much i would say as much as you can get it naturally Absolutely. that's the best yep. but if for some reason there is a shortfall naturally and we have supplements available that can help the body as long as we know what we're taking the side effects it may have it's all right to take it but natural is the way to go but yep, as I, much as possible yeah but i i also think that a good idea is always not to do nutrition the way for example i'm just saying for example what suits her may not suit me you know so it's good it's good to consult there are experts in the field so it's always good to consult thank you very much for your time it was a pleasure interacting with you and wishing you much more success in all your endeavors thank you thank you thank you, thank you very much